Welcome back. This is section 9.2 on power, and in your textbook, this is section 8.2. We've already learned that work is the product of force exerted over a distance, and its units are in newtons times meters, and we will see that this is a joule. A joule is the unit of work. So if you exert a force over a distance in the same direction of the force, then you've done work on that object in a certain amount of joules. The amount of joules that you can do per time is called power. Okay, so for instance, if I can get my car to go from zero to 60, okay, I've, ex I've exerted a force over a distance and done a certain amount of work on it. Uh, but if I can do it fast, the faster that I can do the work, the more power it requires. Okay, so I can climb to the top of a staircase, but if someone can climb that, those stairs faster than me, then they have more power. Okay, I can make my uh, hand drill go around and around and around, but if you have a more powerful hand drill, you can make it go around faster. So the amount of work that you can do in a certain amount of time is called power. So power is going to be joules per second. A joule per second is going to be the unit of power, and we'll, we'll name it. Um, you usually have to have some kind of a unit, and we'll have a unit of power. I'll tell you in a second. So work the power is the work done in the time interval. So how much work have you done? How many joules of work? Divided by the time, and that will give you the power. I think you understand this, but you the idea of power is how fast you can do work. So if you can do twice as much work in the same amount of time, then you have got, you are twice as powerful. Or if you can do the same amount of work in half as much time, then you are twice as powerful. So power has the ability to do something faster. The, fa the more powerful you are, the faster you can do work. We've named it after uh, James Watt, who studied, uh, who studied energy. And we're going to see that the joule is work and energy. The it's the unit of energy and the unit of work. So we'll see that, that one watt okay, equals one joule divided by one second. If you can do one joule of work, and remember that means that one watt is equal to one newton exerted over one meter in one second. If you can do one newton of force in one meter in one second, then you've done one watt of work. So you, you're starting to be introduced to this idea that all of these relationships, which are expressed in a math term, are compounded with each other. So you can have, say, a joule, which has its own math inside it. And you remember a newton has its own, uh, its own um, math concept too, because we've seen that it's an acceleration, uh, an acceleration of a, or a speed of a mass is, is a newton of force. So you can relate one thing to another very easily, if you remember it. You can also see here that energy is related to work. So if, you, if the space shuttle is doing 33,000 megawatts of power, okay, so in order to do that, it has to, it has to, to use 33,000 um, megajoules or million joules per second. Well, how, how do you do that work? You have to have the energy to do that work, and you're going to see that the fuel that's burned is 3,400 kilojoules of fuel per second in order to do the work in the amount of time that it would take to have 3,300 megawatts of power. So we think of megawatts in terms of like power plants, how much energy is being produced that you can send to, to people's houses. So I need you to be thinking from both directions. Work is, the, is, is moving an object or, say, moving electrons through a wire if the, in the case of electricity 
energy is then the ability to do work with the energy that you've stored by doing work in the first place. So it's kind of like your mind just starts spinning as these two things go back and forth related to each other. Okay, in every other country in the world, they use the metric system. I do not know why America is so arrogant that they think that they have to use their own things. But horsepower, which was an old concept, it's the, it comes from the idea of how many horses will it take to pull something. If you have a heavy cart, you're going to need one horse. But if you have a very heavy cart, you're going to need two horses. Or if you want to have four horses, you can move a cart faster so the concept of a horsepower was how many horses required. Well, no other country uses this but the U.S., so you live in the U.S., I'm going to have to explain it to you. One horsepower is equal to uh, three-quarters of a kilowatt, and a kilowatt, remember, is, is a thousand watts. Okay, so, so 750 watts, 750 watts per horsepower. Okay, so an engine rated at 134 horsepower is a 100 kilowatt engine. So there is a relationship, and then you can, if you are given horsepower, you can convert it into, uh, into wattage um, just with an extra step. If you can do this problem, I think you can understand this section. A, forkli a forklift is replaced with a new forklift that has twice the power. How much greater load can it lift in the same amount of time? Think about that. Okay, if it's twice as powerful, can it lift twice the load in the same amount of time? Yes, that's what twice the power means. If it lifts the same load, how much faster can it operate? With the same, with the same force required, it can operate twice as fast. How can you calculate power? Power, which is in watts, capital W, is one joule of work done in one second of time. 